it's important for us to understand that judgment is a tool that God uses in order to manifest his will and his purpose for his people and for creation. When we look at the story of the children of Israel when they were in Egypt, God executed judgment against the Egyptians in order to establish his will. God's will was for their freedom. God's will was for their prosperity. God's will was for their elevation. God's will was for an end to evil operating in their lives. God's will was for restoration to manifest in their lives. And in this time that we are entering in, there is a flow of judgment that is taking place. Judgment flowing in families, flowing in bloodlines, flowing in communities, flowing in lands. Judgment is flowing in Zimbabweans. And it's important for us to understand that God wants to use judgment in order to open doors for us. He wants to use judgment to bring to an end evil cycles, evil processes, the domination of witchcraft in our families. The same way he ended the domination of witchcraft in Egypt. God also wants to use judgment to bring an end to the powerful forces that have kept us caged and stopped us from reaching the heights that we are supposed to reach. God also wants to use judgment to open up places and spaces for us to thrive, for us to prosper. Father, now prepare your children the same way you prepare the Israelites in Egypt for them to be able to tap into judgment and benefit from it. Father, I speak judgment over the enemies of your children. I speak judgment, Father, over the enemies of your purposes and your will for your children. Let there be a wealth transfer. Let there be an opening of doors. Let there be an establishment of dominion. Let there be a moral reset in families, in people, in communities in this nation. Father, let judgment flow that you may be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.